Hey guys, did you know that Jesus is called the bright morning star? Of course, he's also called many other things, but why the bright morning star? Let's go straight into the Bible. Jesus said in Revelation 22 verse 16, I am the root and the descendant of David, the bright morning star. Now Jesus is called the bright morning star, not just a morning star or um, a star, because he outshines all the other stars. You need to understand that it's the morning star because when he came, there's a new, bright, eternal morning that dawned in all the universe and all mankind. Because when he came 2000 years ago, he came to bring the new covenant. He came to bring us eternal life, to die for our sins on the cross so that we might be saved. He brought the kingdom of heaven so that we can be free from sin. Jesus said in Mark 1 verse 15, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. This is very important to understand. Jesus, the bright morning star, came to give us a new covenant so that we can be free from the law of sin and death. Romans 8, consequently, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. For what was impossible for the law, in that it was weak through the flesh, God did by sending His own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh. And concerning sin, He condemned sin in the flesh in order that the requirement of the law would be fulfilled in us who do not live according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Wow! So when Jesus came down to earth, He brought light into the world, into this dark world. He is the bright morning star. Wow! Jesus said in John 12 verse 46, I have come as a light into the world in order that everyone who believes in me will not remain in the darkness. And John 3 verse 19 says, And this is the judgment. The light has come into the world, and the people loved the darkness rather than the light, because their works were evil. Now some people say, well, why is Jesus and Lucifer also called the star? the morning star, the day star? Well, the meaning is different. You need to understand that. Only Jesus is the bright, bright, very important key word there. The devil is not called bright star. Only Jesus is called the bright morning star who came to bring us hope, new life, new spiritual life to make us free from sin. The devil is only called the star because he was one of the stars, one of the angels. He used to be beautiful. He used to be one of the most amazing angels. And then he fell down to earth because he rebelled against God. Isaiah 14 verse 12. How you are fallen from heaven, O day star, son of dawn. How you are cut down to the ground, you who laid the nations low. There's other things as well. The devil is also called a lion and Jesus also called a lion. Jesus the Lion of Judah. Most of you understand what that means. If not, then I'll make a video on that. Maybe by the time you watch this video, it's already there. You can watch it at the end of this video. I'll link it for you in the video description. But the devil, it says that he walks around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. So he's evil. In that kind of way, he looks like a lion. Jesus is different. He's the Lion of Judah. Like the lion is the king of the jungle, right? He is amazing, magnificent. So that pride, that beautifulness, that stature, that's who Jesus is, the Lion of Judah. Remember, if you look at Israel, they had judges first, then all the kings, right? David, of course, was the second king. But all these earthly kings, even the judges, could not save Israel from their self, from their sinful flesh. But then Jesus came, the King of Kings, the Lion of Judah, the tribe of Judah from David. And He came to save not only Israel, but the whole world. 
And that is also why only Jesus is called the bright morning star. The other angels are also called stars, heavenly beings, but they're not the bright star. For example, Job 38 verse 4 says, Where were you when I laid the foundation of the earth? Tell me if you have understanding. Who determined its measurements? Surely you know. Or who stretched the line upon it? On what were its bases sunk? Or who laid its cornerstone? Now here it comes. Listen. Verse 7. When the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy. Now God is talking to Job here of how he created everything, basically showing him his authority that he is God and he, that he's just Job. He's just a, a small human being. And we see that these angels, these sons of God, were there at creation. And of course, not talking about the creation of the spiritual world, I'm talking about the creation of the material world that we live in today. Here's another verse, Revelation 12, verse 3. And another sign appeared in heaven. Behold, a great red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on his heads seven diadems. His tail swept down a third of the stars of heaven and caused them to the earth. Now, most of you already know what's going on here. The third of the stars, these are fallen angels that rebelled against God with Satan here called the dragon, the red dragon. The point in this video is this, that Jesus is the bright morning star, that He is unique, that He is God Himself, and no one and nothing can outshine Him. And Jesus Christ, as the bright morning star, came into this world to bring light into darkness. Jesus said in John 8 verse 12, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Wow! Who wants to live in darkness? I just want more and more of Jesus. You know, the more I study the Word of God, the more precious it is. It's like a, a gold mine. And I'm just here at the start, you know, and there's a big tunnel and a lot of tunnels and it just, it doesn't stop. Man, if you want to know more about Jesus, then watch these videos here and I'll see you there. And always remember, God loves you and I love you too. Bye.